No Delirian, I'm hoping that you are not just in time to watch another slaughter, at least not a slaughter of our crew here. We lost a lot of people, I think seven in total yesterday, although, you know, it wasn't just us taking the beating, we took out one whole play cart. But it was an important play cart because it stopped us losing a whole bunch of our safe zone to the plague menace. I still want to take these two out, but I do not want to risk Istar and Kaiser even more. Are they even both okay? No, they're not. Kaiser is uh, being treated, and Istar needs treatment. Uh, so what am I going to do? Istar is already choked up from uh, breathing in that nasty-ass gas from the play cart. What if I switch them out? What if I put you in and... Uh, well, I can't actually do that. What if I take you out, put you in, select Kaiser... Kaiser is injured, Kaiser's got burning lungs. Ah, and he's fatigued. Okay, now nah, forget it. This star is the one that has to uh has to be played as. Okay. Alright. We only have 388 influence. We need a thousand to recruit somebody else. I want that thousand. Do I want to help these people reclaim their clinic and get some points out of that? Actually, I do, because there should be a good amount of influence to be had out of doing exactly that. I also really want to loot that Plague Heart. That Plague Heart has seven items, and a bunch of them are going to be really rather powerful for where we are in the game right now. Trouble is, it's still chock full of Plague Zone, but I did leave the Desperado there, so there's a lot of reasons for me to want to go back. So I might make Istar go and do it all stealthy-like. Now, since the car is over there, there should be plenty of space to pick things up, so I'm actually going to give Istar a nice backpack. Uh, Istar can have uh, uh, an anti-feral sidearm, an anti-zombie crossbow. Keep that pistol of yours locked and loaded. More mags after this. What an aggravating voice that is. And make sure you have your regulars, energy drink. No, just in, uh, just in case, keep yourself alive for a aid kit some mollies, and some firecrackers. And I really need to keep those parts flowing. Now fortunately, destroying that plague heart has made everybody a lot happier for a long time. So they, we shouldn't have much of an issue with unhappiness. Unfortunately, when we bring new people onto the base, they won't care that we killed a plague heart because they weren't part of the team when we did that. Still, let's go. Sounds like Nick? Mm, a little bit. Maybe that's why it's so annoying. Buddy I played with back when back when Left 4 Dead came out always insisted on playing Brancis. That was good times. Hours and hours of incredibly racist jokes whilst playing Left 4 Dead is exactly what it's all about. Alright, screamers remain priority targets. One scream and everything goes very loud. And we don't get the cool Payday 2 music to come in and make it more tolerable. We get uh, my heart rate skyrocketing, which ain't so good for me. Better make note of where that car is so I know how far away I am from my destination. And keep my eyes peel. Oh, God, I don't like this already. I might just have to run anyway. There are way too many zombies here. That's going loud already. That's alright, if I can give them the slip it's okay, but if they take me down in a tackle like that guy was trying to do, then that is a uh, plague for days for Istar. I'm trying zigzags here because it sometimes stops them from doing the, the big grab on you, and I don't want the big grab. I want the no grab. Damn, I shouldn't be bringing them over to my car. Right. Just try and break line of sight. Get down. What kind of fr Ooh. Uh oh. Shut up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Push on through the pain. Get over the wall. Get down. Alright, it starts clear. 
Unless some other freak pops their nose out. I don't like the screamers making loads of noise. Can't put my finger on it, but there's just something about it I don't like. So, Istar is here to watch what a real job well done is like. He's going to investigate the play cart that Frozen Kai's are destroyed. He's going to pop it open, and we're going to enjoy some real damn good goodies. I would also really like to check out the library, because the books can be good for learning skills. Well, of course they are, that's the one thing they do. But I noticed some zombies still prowling around inside, so I wasn't all that keen on heading in. Fell asleep and missed yesterday's, Jake. How's my buddy Baron doing? Ah! Um... Well, his, uh, his jumper's alright. I don't mind taking this slowly, but... Let's actually try and take everything out in one go. Because the zombies just love to uh, close in on me as soon as my back is turned. Jake, has the Dark Side mod been kind to you, or is the survivor list starting to look short even with 50 plus submissions? It's, um. It's a bit of a tough topic, okay? Do we have to go there? That was hugely disappointing. There was no gun in there. Normally, there's an advanced gun with an even more advanced uh, mod on it, like a, a an advanced choke or an advanced suppressor, but I got no gun there. I got materials, which is nice, but otherwise... Hey, a bit of luck for once. I mean, it was a bit of crap. Hello, Fortunately... My name is Ray God, every time I re uh, restart the game... I wonder if I can find these these Trumbull Valley radio things and delete them from the game. I'm so cheesed off with hearing them all the time. Right, right. That was a very, very disappointing... For God's sake, shut up, Ray! That was a very disappointing plague heart popping. Normally when you pop the plague heart, it's just mmm, oh, so good, but this time it was not. Oh, Christ, this thing's full up already. Give me those, give me that, and give me that. That, at least, is a stay-alive uh, collection of goods. Probably be pretty easy to delete the sound files. Much more dangerous to delete anything game-wise. I'll just leave them there and continue to get annoyed by them. That seems like a much more sensible approach. The thing is, the not many of them are actually resting six deep. Because, well, let me think. Baron we put out of his misery when he got back up. But almost everyone else, I think, joined the roaming hordes. And we may just see them on our travels. Remember when Callum got uh, plagued to death by a feral? We found him later on, hours and hours later. Miles away from where he died. And there's a hefty chance that's what's going to happen with the other folks. Alright, good thing Istar is wearing his camouflage gear, the bright yellow raincoat. He was just trying to get to Spain. What's a long, long way to go to see the planes in Spain. Cracks me up every time. I think it was you, John, that actually said, How is vacationed in Spain a trait when we introduced Callum? Okay, as I often say, the first 10 to 15 minutes of me firing up the game is when we're at our uh, most vulnerable. Because I need to ease back into it, right? The heart rate isn't fully pumped up yet. My gamer senses haven't kicked in. Alright, we need to... We need to get in the flow here. And it's a dangerous place to be when there's two people only. So... Oh, jeez. To be fair, there's a lot of influence worth of goods that we got here. Are you out of there yet? No, no, guys are still resting up. I need them to be recovered from fatigue. But while we're here, it would probably be a good idea to loot everything else. But then again, this car's got... No, 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 no! You stay away from the goods, man. I might have to go back, actually, with what I've got. We've already filled up the trunk. And at least this way I get the car back to base. Gotta be careful though, can't have a huge zombie horde follow me all the way back. Nobody's around to defend the bleeding base. However, we can take something resembling solace in knowing that we've created the safe zone around our base. 
So as long as I stick relatively tight to it, we might be able to get in without attracting the attention of all the everything. My home is so dangerous. It's unbelievable. Hey, I put this on the schedule days ago, TBW. Potentially more than one. Hate to do this, but, uh... You gotta remain my main here. I'll keep this on you. And then, although I just threw them away, I'm probably going to fill up something with valuables. Possibly Vandito. Oh, Vandito's having a bit of a crisis of existence there. Weird thing with this game, just, what is somebody calling it, like the, the Z, the Z fighting or something? Oh my god, I just wish it was daytime. I'd have an easier time if I could see. Now, I said I wanted to, oh, right, some people need help. I wanted to become these guys' friends, so I should probably go over there and help them with that. So what I can do is I can fill up with valuables in the Van Dito, take it over to the Angels and sell everything I can. Probably not the Hard Noses, their place is too dangerous. They have like no safe zone around them. Am I allied with the Departed Souls? I am. If I can get there without lots of zombies following me, I could also sell some goods to them. So let's sell the DV what's that? DVD of Ghost Teen. Madison is still haunted by love in the sequel to He Doesn't Know I Exist. Cotton Balls, Emery Boards. Those are things you scrape nails down with. And then what else do I have that I even can or want to sell? Lots of parts. Lots and lots of parts. Long time YouTube scrub, and because of Jake's Twitch, Lurker too says Nulger. Being a Lurker is great, it's a, a higher form of life. And I don't say that in jest. Or I should say I don't just say that in jest. Alright, I hate selling parts as much as I am, but what else can I do? Oh, I can certainly sell painkillers. I don't like selling stimulants, but they do sell for a good amount, so I probably should. Remember, I need all the influence that I can get my grubby wee hands on. To the point where I even want to sell some of these bandages, I've got so many of them. From popping over all, uh, popping open all of my health bags. Because I don't have a huge demand for health in the base. I use two per day, but the abandoned cover that. So everything else I'm pretty much just popping like gacha. Is it gacha? I've never, I don't think I've ever played a gacha game, so my experience there is limited. But I, I would never normally do this, but I am emptying out just about everything I can to keep myself fiscally afloat. Even these painkillers, which I think I've got a bit too many of. And I hate to say it, but I should probably pl uh, sell the landmines as well, because they're probably worth something decent. And I'm just constantly cranking out these, uh, these things. I was told to look into the utilities complex. Gives water and power. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot but I'm not getting rid of my field hospital for it. I have an idea for that. I think I'll do that on the next base that I move to. So I'm, I'm saving up for two things. One, I want to have like at least five people in the base again. And secondly, I want to move to the, uh, the good base. Well, the significantly better than this base base. Actually, it's the best base in this map, and uh, I think it's one of the best in the game as well. The barricaded strip mall costs 2,500 and I'd have to clear out five play carts. So really, get the influence, get about five survivors, clear these two play carts so that I can set up another safe zone here. Um, safe zone is one thing, but it's outposts to get more food to turn into more fuel. Which, come to think of it, why am I not doing? Because I don't have the labor. Labor is something that I'm pretty desperate for. Poor Vanditos really struggling to stay in existence here. Right, let's head over to the Departed Souls first, and then we're going to help the no escape. I'll be there soon. What an awful voice. You need about 70 mollies for that. Ah, for the, um... My god, right on the cusp of my safe zone there. 
for all the play cards. Yeah, I get that. I get that. That's a lot of screamers. Um, I don't like them screaming so close to my base. I've got a 3070 graphics card, so I'm not going to accept that uh, I've got too low specs to handle this truck existing in the game. But this flickering has been around for years. It's kind of like there's elements of the Vandito that are failing to exist here. Right, uh, where am I going? First left? First left. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the perfect, perfect time to be considering upgrading, right? Okay, let's hope that we don't have zombies galore spawning around us as we try to do business. Um, I'll sell all the stuff that's easy to think about. Now, allies give you better deals for your goods, so better to sell, better to sell to allies. DVD, cotton balls, playing cards, emery boards, bandages, more bandages. They got anything for me? They have a toolbox. And I hate to say it, but I'm buying that toolbox. And I came here to, um, oh, a metal bat. The metal bat is actually good for salvage. Kind of worth it, but I won't. Came here to sell to them, end up buying from them. What's the world coming to? So I've got a lot of things to sell, and I need every scrap of influence I can, so let's do it. I hope to very rapidly add another survivor to the team. Ooh, okay, stimulant sell for a hell of a lot. And so do the strong painkillers. Probably a good idea to be selling then. And they barely got anything left to give me, so that will be... That will be all with you. Mysterious wandering traders are there to tempt me away from my hard-earned dosh. I need this stuff. Okay, thankfully I've already got enough to get another survivor, but I'm going to finish finish off doing with this star what I need to do. I think first right and then take the easy way down. Well, right then left, and then down we go. The lodgers need your help. Oh, I'm on my bleeding way, calm down. That was very fast of them getting pissy with me. Uh, is there a finite amount of looting on the map? Oh, that's a difficult question. There are a finite number of spots that you can go and loot, yes. However, when you make radio calls to look for rucksacks of resources, they will spawn them for you. So let's say you're desperately in need of materials and you go on the radio and you spend 75 influence to ask on the radio if anybody knows of location for materials. It will spawn a rucksack for you in a random building. So to that extent, the rucksacks are unlimited. And the rucksacks themselves can be popped open for other items. So a materials rucksack might give you some weapons or parts. A fuel one might give you chemicals and uh, fuel cans. And of course, you can generate these resources in your bases and outposts. So looting is, yes, limited. But loot is unlimited. I can't think of any anything in the game that you're going to have a limited amount of. Maybe there's some special cases, but between traders and popping open rucksacks, I think you'll generally be able to get all that you, you need. Check out the digs? I'll check out your digs. Now, what's your problem? Leo hasn't checked in. Look at Pamphlet King. That's not so risky, actually, because that's over where my friends, the Life Givers, are, and I need to go and talk to them, too. And by the way, you got anything worth my time? Lots of food, some guns. Tempting, but... Oh, I want that sledgehammer. Very tempting, but I'll pass. And I won't trade with them, because we're not allied yet. You need to be allied to get the better, better deals. So this is nice and easy. Just go up here and take the first left. Man, this truck is really struggling to stay in existence. Fortunately, though, I'll be reloading the game when we bring in a new survivor or two, so hopefully that'll stop the thing being so flickery. Limited amount of chat meat for the grinder. Yes, I only have something like 70 people now. Every morning I wake up and I find uh, half a dozen new direct messages saying, uh, here I am, and uh, that fills me... Fills me with a certain kind of warmth on the inside. So I didn't expect so many people to be jumping for it. 
Maybe it's people that saw the first one and... Oh, I think I'm beginning to see why we've got issues. It's fighting with this thing that doesn't even really exist. Anyway, I'm taking all of your stuff. And I gotta be fast here. I don't know what's waiting for me here. Hopefully, you're just gonna come and there's not gonna be any zombie problems. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, double jeez. Right, I'm doing this then. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta get out of here. It's about to get funky. Get me out of here, get me out of here. Okay, that went well, because a huge amount of zombies just spawned on us whilst I was dealing with him. That's become the uh, the medical staff's problem now. I'm out of here. Actually, I need to go back and speak to the medical staff. Actually, stop procrastinating. I made a character for myself. I have no idea how Discord works. Well, you can get it to me in a number of ways. You could send it to me in a, uh, in a whisper on Twitch. You can email me. You could uh, put it on a Google Drive account and put it in a message on a YouTube video. There are many, many, many ways to contact me. Oh, man! The Lodgers just became my favorite people. They gave me roadside assistance, one of my favorite drops in the game. It costs a bit, but roadside assistance gives gasoline and toolkit, and sometimes it's an advanced toolkit. So uh, the Lodgers just became my best friends. On top of that, they're in a relatively convenient location if you ignore the uh, multi-play carts surrounding them. But the thing is, everyone's going to be surrounded by play carts, right? Part and parcel of life in Drucker. Oh, those landmines are worth a good chunk. And they've got a good chunk of influence, so let's take as much of that as we can. And just like that, we've almost got enough for two survivors. My truck looks a little different. Yeah, I can see it. I think it's fighting with the existence of another truck. That explains it. Well, maybe reloading it'll make it better. Right. We're going to reclaim your clip. Oh, that's amazing! The clinic is in my safe zone! I don't even want to risk going and talking to them. I can just go there and deal with that. And we are getting our two survivors pronto. And we can do it from a safe area. Fortune is smiling, baby. Let's smile back. So, it's in a safe zone. It'll probably still spawn the zombies, but at least it won't spawn additional zombies. Having outposts provide you goods is good, but... Uh... There we go. We got here. Destroy all the zombies. Well, are there zombies in there, though? That's the question. Are they going to spawn in a safe zone? Having these guys here will be so good. So incredibly good. That's a wrap, folks. Yep, no zombies because it's a safe okay. room. You're doing good work out there. And that's all because of me. So the life givers are going to migrate over to this base now. They'll keep it extra safe. And they themselves will offer me medical advice, which uh, I think I already have. So it's a bit of a waste of time. Still, good to have extra allies around here. Okay, right, well, let's not look this gift horse in the mouth. Let's put it to capitalized use immediately. Istar, get over here. Uh, dump all your stuff quite kindly. Actually, keep yourself equipped with a half-decent gun, because you're getting checked in. Actually, we're going to check you in after we get ourselves some additional survivors. So, what are we going to do here? I feel that this breaks the flow a little bit, but it's the fastest way I've figured out how to do it. We're going to exit to main menu because the game is kind enough to save everything you do all the time. And we are going to open up a tool called the Community Editor. Now, if you're into State of Decay 2 and you've never used the Community Editor tool before, I highly recommend it. Let's actually close the entire game for once. Normally, I just come out to this screen, but uh, since we've got a bit of Z fighting going on, I'm going to relaunch the whole game. The Community Editor gives you a lot of tools to, to uh, tweak the game, and I really like that. You can use it for all sorts of cheating and the like, but you can also use it to just give yourselves characters that are a lot more meaningful to you than the random sods that this game will generate. So, make another save here. What's this? I'll just call it uh, start of third session dot sav. Just backing everything up in case everything goes absolutely uh, 
kaput. I feel like community editor should be included in the base game. We share that feeling, Finn boy. I don't know what that means. The devs do great work keeping this game um, filled with love and updates even to this day because the game's been out for years. But it seems they have a certain aversion to just giving players certain affinity over how they play the game. Nah, I don't truly understand that myself. Anyway, we got Sod 2 back up. I think we do. And let's bring up the community editor as well. It's a, it's a bit of a shy one. It doesn't like being captured by the stream very much. But we can get it anyway. There we go. Here's the Darksiders. So, we are going to spend 2,000 influence, leaving us with 8 influence, and we're going to bring in 2 new survivors. The game remembers the dead. The game, I think, remembers 10 or 12 dead people. So eventually we're going to forget about people like Zeppelin and Slime Dragon. They become one with the Horde. So, let's import two survivors. Question is, who are we going to import? I'll just be lucky dipping them at random. Unless someone out there wants to tell me that they took the Scrum Certification Quirk skill, because if you did, I, I really want you on the team. Really, truly want you on the team. So, bring it in. Completely random. So, well, really, I'm even just going to close my eyes, scroll, and end up on Runic. We're going to bring in one Runic, and we get another person, import, up and down, up and down, and oh, I ended up on Frozen Kaiser again. You can't see what I'm doing, you just see my mouse because it's not capturing the uh, directory that I'm selecting these from. So let's go with, here we go, uh, C Sirius. Sirius, in you come. I need to make sure that their ID numbers are unique, because currently they are not. Because they used a character, like a, a blank slate character that I left with them, which uh, will have the same ID number. Which is probably, coming to think of it, the source of all the woes that we're having, but it doesn't matter. It's minimal woes and things we can deal with. And let's take a quick glance at the characters that we brought in. Here we go, Sirius Sirius. What's their voice like? So much of what I used to think of as junk now turns out to be the stuff keeping us alive. Not the worst, and... Runic? The whole world just smells musty. Like everything's ready to get boxed up right. and forgotten. Runic has no additional skill, so he's a blank slate. Siri is here, knows gardening, which would be useful if I had any gardens at all, but I don't. Hero bonus, good entertainment, I don't know what that does, probably uh, morale. And friendly reminders, I have no idea what that does either. In any case, we're going to save this, we are committed to these two survivors. At least there'll be up to four people, and I hope neither of them are lazy. So thank you, Com Editor Tool, for letting us bring those people in. And now, when we get into the game itself, they should appear. I didn't bother making a character, because I figured you'd be full of them, but if you keep burning through them like this, I might have to throw one in. Yes, Heldon. I mean, you are one of the very, very few survivors from the previous Dark Side run. Spoilers if nobody's seen that, so... Yeah, maybe you could whip these people into shape. Then again, your way of survival tend to involve just staying on the roof and not budging from there. And wrestling. Wrestling command of the ship from Callum. In before both of them have fired a lot. Fired a lot and lazy would be a net negative on labor, so I'm hoping to god they're not. Okay, let's see them. Why was there a smashing of windows? Well, let's not worry about that. Uh, let's take a look at them. Here's Runic. What a weird look, exposing your arms like that. Uh, they get plus four morale, but that's just for them because they laugh easily. Plus one labor from friendly reminders. I want that a lot, okay? I like this Runic person, but we only get that if they manage to build up standing. Uh, otherwise, nothing terribly exciting going on with their traits. Morale bonus from having a garden. Well, that's not going to happen. Avoids getting into conflict. Nice. Keep their morale at 10 plus to avoid conflicts. Can become easily frustrated at minus 20 morale. Uh, bit of a mixed bag on that. But hey, people are people. And people mean I can get to work over here. So Istar is going to check in. And we're going to immediately put Ronic to the... Actually, you got everything I want you to have? Yeah, I guess you do. Okay. Get yourself checked in. Ronic is taking the show for now. Oh god, right, there's a problem with you, Runic. I think we got a bugged out character here with you, because you have, for whatever reason, 
Like, no stamina and no health. It's the same situation for you, Sirius. Yes, yes it is. Okay, what the heck happened there? There's something that causes that, and I don't remember exactly what. Damn it, right, I can't use them like that. I need to figure out what's causing this problem and uh, fix it pronto. What was the problem again? Dark Young uh, sought me. He actually knew what was causing it, and he told me, and I managed to forget. Mm -hmm -hmm. No food, says Nightmaker. No food? What are you talking about? Looks like we got plenty of food. Need the default trait? Oh, yeah, yeah, they probably don't have default trait on them. Right, never mind that. I can fix this easy peasy. Yeah, um, if you remove default traits on the characters, for some reason it kills their health like that. So let us fix that accordingly. Where's the default trait? It'll be in the community, man uh, community editor thing here. That's all right. I was prepared for things to go wrong. Right, 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 right. Mm, yeah, I've got an idea. Reset everything here. And this is why I back up my save. I can just back up what we had there. Lots of things happening that you cannot see in stream right now, but trust me. The... Community Editor used to be a lot easier tool to use. It was uh, given a rushed fix for the latest update of State of Decay, but there are some functionalities that are a bit... a bit off with it, shall we say. Importing characters being the main one. Well, the main one that I can think of. Okay, do you want to come back, Community Editor? Let's see if we can do this again. I should be checking this each time. And lo, lo and behold, I forgot to do it this time. Right, let's do it again. Bye-bye, Influence. Hello, survivors, and let's get back to importing. Uh, enclave, survivors, import. Who did we bring in again? I believe it was Sirius. And it began with an R. Runic. Get them in, change their ID numbers. 3911 and 3912. You need to make sure these are unique or else I think the game just straight up crashes. And then, and then, and then, go here. Yeah, see they had their default trait removed. You need that. You absolutely need that. So bring that in. No, no, not indefatigable. Just default trait. And same with you. Default trait. Get rid of the filter. There we go. Default. Default. Now when we save this, they shouldn't immediately die on me when I bring them into the game. Thank you, Com Editor Tool. And back to the game. Oh, I'm part of the YouTube scum. Glad to be able to catch you live. Well, you might have just caught us at the end of our troubleshooting here. It's one of the pressures of doing live stream rather than just making videos when something goes wrong. You gotta fix it there and then under the gazing eyes of live viewers. Anything pre recorded, ah, you can just do all that behind the scenes magic. Right, how are our characters feeling now? There's Sirius with actual health and Runic with actual health. Excellent. So we can get this done proper. Uh, zombie threat at home, well, that's not very nice. I'm a little busy here, game. Right, let's take control of Runic, as we said we would. I wonder if this is going to trigger the zombie threat at home. Yes, it is. Okay, well, there's no way around that, but I won't be fighting this one. It's alright, the, the people will be fine. As I often do, I'm going to ditch any glitched items that they have in their inventory over here. Good to see that the old glitched items have disappeared. Because, uh, yeah, they got they got weird things in their inventory. Another byproduct of... Um, of using weird characters. I said I'd be using you, but I'm actually going to switch again. Here you go. Here's an ultralight axe and a not so ultralight civilian vector carbine and a crummy backpack. They're going to be making weird noises because the fight is happening back at the base, but uh, as you might be able to tell, we're not there. 
Let's switch over to Sirius as well. You knew fine that would trigger it, you bloody taught me that trick, says Dark Young. Sometimes tricks just happen. It's like playing a card game of tricks. Right, down these all go. Our jacket sleeves as rare as car doors. Oh man, our, our truck doesn't look so good at all. I was hoping I would fix that. Maybe I need to restart my whole computer, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. What I'm going to bother with is enjoying having actual members of the team here. We got another weapon for you, something a bit better. Tacta Hawk, perhaps. Uh, I'm going to give you a sidearm, I'm going to give you a crossbow with some ammo, a half decent backpack, and, 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 and the regular stuff. You, and you, and one of you. Alright, now Sirius is ready to get there, get out there and do stuff. I don't really know what. Well, actually, I know one thing immediately that I want. I want those drops. Ah, crumbs, I don't have any influence to get my drops. Then are we just driving straight home with you? Is that all we're doing? That's a long way to go back home, but I think we'll do it. No, Dissident, I'm quite certain it's nothing like that. Because this whole flickering vehicle thing will happen even if you play pure vanilla without modifying anything. <laughs> Poor Vandito. The Vandito goes through so much for me. I should be very grateful, and I am very grateful. Bandito is chugging through that gas, but fortunately we have a drop that gives us gas and toolkits now. As long as those people don't uh, get mad and leave, or die a horrible death. Those two things would really bum the mood and of course stop them supplying me with freebies willy-nilly. I'd love to be able to go up there the same way I come down, but it's a little trickier to go up than down. Let's try it anyway, shall we? I think I can see the path from here. I think if I run into a bloater here, we're losing one of our uh, one of our new bloods as quickly as we got him. That's a screamer. Not already not happy with this. This is a horrible crest because if there's a bloater on the other side of it, same with this. If there's a bloater on the other side, you just eat a whole load of bloat cloud. You could easily find yourself stuck there and die. It's daytime. Do we want to take advantage of the daylight and loot this place? This place can be really good for supplies. I swear there's a uh, a hardware store. That's what I want. Right, let's just pray there are no zombies around for a while. I think I hear them, though. Are they inside? Don't look like it. Alright. Come on, I need parts. Not parts, uh, materials. Also, with, since we have people in the base... We can actually get some work done in the base. I hope generating that water doesn't actually cost ongoing labor. Doesn't look like it does. Convert food into fuel. Nice. Yeah, I looted the play cart. Come on, Mel's Hardware. I'm looking very specifically for materials here. That's a good rummaging sound. It's very convincingly sounding like rummaging. Why do I hear zombies unbelievably close by? Almost like they're in the building next to me. Our main use of biomass fuel is turning it into molotovs that we'll be throwing endlessly at play carts. Oh, ho, ho, ho. toolbox and materials. Better than I could have hoped for. Oh boy. Seems the zombies came out to play whilst I was in there. I shouldn't press my luck. Let's grab this and go. Getting some materials is good. Poor vehicle. It's having a rough life. 
It's like me. It's had a very hard life. I'd love to loot that fire station as well, but this is a dangerous, incredibly dangerous neighborhood to be in. One thing that Mysterious Wandering Trader could have that I would really shell out for is a light vehicle modification kit. I could use that to turn our Desperado, I think that's what it's called. Maybe that's not what it's called. Um, what else would it be called? The Jeep. Turn the Jeep into a really good Jeep. Because currently it's a bit of a crappy Jeep. Very low health, very low capacity. Alright, let's get back to base. Now with four people. Most of them having guns, I assume. We should be able to actually hold this base, although that's what I said about having five people. And we saw well that went. Juggy came in, and Juggy brought us down. Juggy brought everyone down except for our hero. Our hero, Frozen Kaiser. The Vagabond, thank you. It is indeed called the Vagabond. Ah, I don't think it needs to be fixed up right now. To be honest, that was a great find when it comes to toolkits. And whilst we were out, everybody defended the base for us. It's a good day. Now you can choose that. You can just trigger the zombie event at home, leave the AIs to deal with it. They'll take no damage because they are far enough away Without from you. Fuel, we are be in and you'll just, you will be absolutely fine. But I never want to choose that. It was just by sheer coincidence that it happened this time. Do I want to fill her up? I don't really want to have that mod in here if I have base wide access to water. Alright, I need to think carefully about what I do now. I need to consider who the most expendable person is and have them go out and do dangerous things. And, um... I hate to say it, Sirius, but you are the most expendable. For some reason, the names are getting bugged out. It says that your name is... Wait, it says Sirius now. <sighs> Mysterious. Let's not worry about it. It's not affecting gameplay. Yeah, play cart whilst on car. That is the way forward, as far as I can tell. Troublesome is the fact that I need a lot of Molotovs, and I don't have a lot of Molotovs, and if I want to make more, it's going to cost me that fuel that I don't have. We're making fuel, but it takes a while to make fuel. Let's unclog the toilets while we're at it, make everybody a bit happier. Otherwise, yeah, the need for fuel is dire. The need for Molotovs is dire. A lot of needs are dire. I have enough to take out one of these play carts. So maybe I could go over to Bronto Gas and deal with you. But you're not allowed to take anything valuable with you, because if you die, and you may well die, I especially do not want to lose that crossbow. Firecrackers are very expendable. I will let you have some painkillers to take you up to full health there. But uh, you're not even allowed a good backpack, honestly. Firecrackers, Molotovs... Uh, Molotovs, Molotovs, more Molotovs, one pistol to deal with, say, ferals and whatnot, and maybe a get-out-of-jail-free card when it comes to drinking some energy drink, but that's it. What's your industry pipeline goal, Jake? Farm to excess food, to fuel the molly, to, de uh, to kill play carts? Uh, kind of. Kind of, kind of, kind of, but I don't have space for farms here. I'd, I wouldn't go farms, I would prefer to go... Yeah, what do you call it? Hydroponics. Much better output on hydroponics. Mm, I know they only need small places, but that's what the barricaded strip mall would be there for. I'm trying to think of alternative ways to get fuel, though. Mm, the thing is, as long as we have a chemist, the converting of fuel to molotovs is quite good. Four fuel, nine molotovs. That's pretty swell. The parts isn't a problem because the fabrication shop takes care of that. I just need that blessed fuel. I wonder if converting food into fuel can be done easier some other way. It takes a long time, sadly. I need somebody that gives us uh, facility action speed bonuses. Those are really, really handy. Hmm, board games would give us a lot of uh, morale. It wouldn't take very long to do. But it needs, it needs at least two people to play some board games. Alright, alright, alright. Well, once the toilet's unclogged and once that still has done its work, we can get on that. But for now, we need to torch another play cart. Added bonus, if we 
For God's sake, are you still using a pistol instead of using something useful? This place is, yeah, horrible to defend. Frozen Kai's is asking who's in charge. Whilst he uses his pistol instead of anything. Oh my god, you're still full of stuff I don't want you to be full of. But maybe you using the crossbow is a bad idea. You got way too much stuff on you. Whatever, I'll deal with that when I'm playing as you again later. For what it's worth though, you should be the one in charge. I know you're a traitor, and I don't like traitors, but um... Adding a fighting gym to base would get everyone in better shape. I think I should have you in charge. There you go. You've earned it for now. I'll demote you later one way or another. Got a mission right now for a fighting gym. Kaiser wants it, and I have the materials for it, so I'm gonna build it. Takes two people to do so, but once the fabricator in the bathroom is done, we'll build that up for him. It'll make him happy, if nothing else, and give us a bit more influence. I'll tear it down later on, though. But, first and foremost, we've got the very, very dangerous job of killing a play cart. It's so dangerous, I think I will even deign to bring one toolbox with me, in case this thing conks out on me. Characteristic desire as well, I appreciate that game. Oh, Desperado doesn't have a lot of fuel. How much fuel do we have in base? You know, we'd have more if I got that supply drop. Where are my supplies at? Give me roadside assistance, please. Uh, <laughs> I have no gas cans to withdraw. Well, let's go and grab that. It should have what I need in it. And I'm going to use space for that, so let's dump some of this stuff first. Some other glitch junk that I dropped there. I'm not going to worry about it. See, this is meant to be my base, and there are zombies prowling around inside it. This base is so bad. I know I've been saying that a lot. I get it, right? Could Jake stop talking about how bad his base is? Maybe he shouldn't have moved there. But you don't understand, Illustrajon goaded me into it. He said, damn right, we want to see how bad... Ah... It's after me. Or is it after me? I hear some people claim that zombie hordes are evidence that the Zeds understand safety in numbers. I'm not convinced, but I suppose anything's possible. Okay, I'm going to take an alternative route to go and get that then. You trusted John, that was your first mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I could block these entrances. The problem is juggernauts move cars, and damn it. For the love of God. Juggernauts move cars and damage cars when they walk into them. So if I tried to block these entrances, juggernaut would just push through them. It's a bit of a different story if you block, say, gates and doors to your base. Fun times, what is going on here? Right, you know what, could you all just go away? Every last one of you just saunter over to that. Where's the... where's the feral? The feral will be going for that as well. And that tells me where the feral is. Uh, it's not on my mini-map for some reason, so I can't put a, a pointer on it to always keep track of it. But hopefully it won't notice me here. If it does, I'm running. It's 200% about to notice me. It's even coming towards me. Am I just not allowed that supply drop? Okay, it turned back to go and play around with the other zombies. Ferals have amazing hearing. Okay, that's fine. If it wants to play with zombies, that's fine. Ah, uh, it's less fine. It knows I'm here. Ah! Jeez, it took a shortcut around there, didn't it? 
Guys, feral! <laughs> uh, do not get killed by the feral. Please fight back! Did I take away your gun or something? Holy moly. Okay. Okay, okay. So about that supply drop. Is our friend the Juggernaut still? Yeah, I see him right there. <laughs> our esteemed leader wants to build a trade depot. I need to tell him that ain't happening. You can have your fighting gym and that's that. Okay. I just want that supply drop. I'm wasting very, very valuable daylight hours on this. It's uh, not good. Ghost seems clear, though. No ferals. Don't like where Duff is, though. Duff is in a place that doesn't work well for me. And I don't have good guns to bring him down. If my team had, like, AK-47s or 50 cal rifles, yeah, bring him on. Just watch the rest of the team tear him apart. But we don't. We really, really don't. Alright, good. I can just run back. One zombie notices me. And that zombie is now one with Baron. I would really like an AK says, guys. I'm working on it. Okay, as soon as I've gotten back to base with this, we'll get you that uh, AK. Hopefully the play cart drops it. Otherwise, I don't know where I'd get you an AK. Bang, bang, bang. This star should be resting up. Why is he not resting up? Oh, because he's trying to build something. We're pretty low on um, on labor, that much is true. But just, just cope with the situation, laddie. Right, try that again, shall we? The new guy most likely has junk in his slots. Uh, I already switched them out. Unless you think Istar has junk. I can talk to him and see what his uh, stuff is. Yeah, I dealt with both of them. I mean, look, he's up there shooting right now. Oh, hey there. Yeah, your inventory's fine. In fact, you've got an M1A, which is exactly what I want you to have. And how are you doing up here? You got the ultralight axe and these this carbine. I mean, really awful, awful guns to be shooting from up here with. You need to have rifles or AKs. Or, you know, that um, M, M, M something or other that I bought and I was told it wasn't very good. And you're right, it's not very good, but at least it's something. Right, distractions. Can we be Anybody done with them? Can no, we can't. Get ourselves that gas can and get over to that play cart. Get all the gear one needs for taking out a play cart. And fuel this sucker up. AR-15, that sounds about right. Unfortunately, it was only semi-automatic. Wow. Serious, you look tiny when you're driving this car. You look like you're four-foot bugger all. Alright, let's take the long way around, so hopefully they don't get attracted to the bit. Oh, no, there's a screamer right there. Well, have fun, everyone. We got our best people man in that lookout. What's the odds of Syria's dying here though? Pretty high, I would say. I need to find a good vantage point to deal with the uh, to deal with the plague heart in here. This star's torn muscle has been repaired. Probably tore it whilst fighting that feral. What's the best way to deal with you? What is the best way? I'm gonna have a zillion zombies around me anyway, so why don't I? Stand here. Take out that glass. And start lobbing. 
One. Two. Three. Four. There are ferals below me. Five. Thank God it's not reaching me with its uh, nasty stuff here. Six. Seven. Eyes peeled for bloaters. Eight. Nine. This is so anxiety driven. It, it got me. It got me. Oh, jeez, no. Oh, jeez, no. At least finish the fight. I see it. There was a bloater there. Something spawned and popped there. What do we do? Do we keep you alive or do we uh, do we finish off the play cart? Damn it, those ferals putting you in a grave risk here. Let's go anyway. It was never good for you. Aye, aye, aye. You can't have you complicating the message. Get in and get out. The things I do for my people. Take care of the screamer. Take care of the other screamer. I know it hurts the vehicle a lot. I hope I'm not bringing a lot of friends with me, but I might. Okay. Okay, okay, we're gonna keep you alive. Expendable, perhaps. I'm not having you die on me just yet. Some zombies are on their way here. Please don't let it be another massive horde. The Juggernaut appears to be approaching the base. Fortunately for me, Juggies don't aggro on people that are shooting them from places up here unless they're within sight or sound range. And my AIs are alright-ish for that. No, no martyrdom just yet. That was a lot of pain, though. Pain enough to eat another first aid kit for? Because you got pretty ravaged out there. I don't think so. I think you can handle being there again. That was a lot of plague to get in very little time. What happened? Oh yeah, yeah, I got knocked down and uh, bashed to bits. I'm tempted to bring that juggernaut over, but I'm not. Sh I'm not sure if the juggernaut roars attract more zombies or not. Did the plague heart life reset? No, plague hearts keep the damage. They never get uh, their health back. You could shoot a plague heart down to almost no health left. Do everything else in the game for dozens of hours. Come back and pop that plague heart easily later on. Okay. Well, at least we got our other door back. Like I said, you've got a job to finish. Can't wimp out there. It's so deadly right outside of my safe zone. It's just... Fills a man with dread, it really does. What else is a man to think, other than dreadful thoughts? Now, is that feral still here? Sorry, uh, I asked the wrong question. Are those ferals still here? They were. After fighting a Brazilian ferals, 
I think I know how to deal with them by now. Also, let's stay a little further away from the heart this time. And finish the fight. Maybe I could crouch down and, you know, not even have them notice me. Hey guys, we could really use your help with this shit right now. Well, who's asking? If it ain't the Pope, I'm not sure I'm interested. Okay, that's good. That's so good. Uh oh, that bloater isn't move, 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 move! Who's asking for help? Oh god, that's a million miles away. I'm not, not, not helping you out with that. What about the other one that was like a survivor and... Ah, oh, jeez. You're right next to me. I guess I should. Would you believe it's dusk already? Knock, knock. Guess who? Right, I don't know who you are or what you want from me. But I'm gonna help you. I'm hearing zombies in sight there, though. Uh-oh, that's a screamer. Christ, no, Christ, no, Christ, no. Ooh, there's a lot of ways that could have gone wrong. Hello, friend. Hello, friends. There are multiple of you. Nice. Oh, no, that's, uh, that's a couple of bears. There's just one of you. Frozen Kaz is pretty happy that we built a fighting gym. I don't have any reason, actually, to tear it down right now, and the plus 20 max health might actually be useful for the team. Great. Well, nice to know you, Courtney. You got anything for me? She's got materials. She's got an AR-15 and a Civilian Vector Ultra Compact. They're not at good prices, but I'm taking that, and I'm taking those bullets as well. Yeah, I really want those materials, but I'll pass on that. Okay. Okay, okay. One more play cart, and this area suddenly looks a lot nicer. Try not to instantly lose that gun. I know, I know. Okay, so I just need to take you across the street. A lot of people died here. Once, uh, once upon a time, but don't let that put you off. <laughs> Mission expired, build a trade depot. There's no space for it, Kaiser. What Kaiser really means is, can we move to a better base where we could build one? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I need to take out that juggy. Dark outside. I don't like that. Night overtakes the day. Wow, what a crappy, crappy haul inside this lone wolf pawn shop. I thought pawn shops were meant to have great things inside. Ah, zombies. Lots of zombies. Any of these have anything worth my time? No, no, maybe, and no. And I'm not here for a maybe. Let's skedaddle. I mean, it's just across the street. I'd be better off walking. But we might have to get out of there fast. That's okay, I've got an energy drink. And uh, almost no stamina. And there's a, f there's a screamer in the way. Screw it, we're taking the car. There's a lot of things waiting to go wrong here, so let's just take the car. Where'd she go? Where is she? Got some sitting ducks nearby. Get in the get in the bloody car. I'm just gonna drive over here. You're gonna get into your home, and you're not gonna. Oh no! Her home is an infestation. I have a feeling this is a... No, 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 that screamer is already screaming. Have fun, have a lot of fun on your own. 
I'm here for hearts, not for a heart to heart. Okay, where is Sir Jugs a lot? There he is. Would you believe I'm going to put the Desperado here? I'm going to ditch most of that stuff I got. I'm going to give the best gun I have to the best guy I have. One day at a time. That's how we're going to get through this. One day at a time. How are we doing on labor? Plenty of labor. Let's uh, let's play let's play some board games. Hey, how's it going? And let's make sure that you have just got the best gun. And that's all you're using. And take all this other junk off of you. Now, do I want to risk... Oh, this is the fourth time I've been asked for a portable generator. I should help them, though. It's good, practically free, um, free stuff for me. What am I thinking? Am I thinking about risking my life against a juggy? Well, I might as well use the most expendable life to keep this juggy off the base. I just hope it doesn't bring in all its freakish friends. Now, if I do this quietly, it might not go so badly. Juggy. Juggy, 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 juggy. Look at me, look at me. I can see that fair. I can see that uh, screamer. Just asking to be a problem for me. Good, 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 good. Now my goal is actually to lead Juggy over here, where he will be shot by the people on the watchtower and not kill me. And not kill me! Or scream to bring in all his friends. <laughs> Guys! The juggernaut! Shoot! The juggernaut! He's screaming, but he's not. Oh, he is reaching his friends. As long as he doesn't reach a screamer. Uh oh, more of them are coming in. And he ain't dying fast enough. Oh, no, 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 uh, Juggy, Juggy friend, get back over here. Look at me, I'm nice and tasty. No! Get down! Shoot! Get off me! Alright, I'm glad you had fun with the board games, guys, but we got actual problems out here. I'm trying to keep them at the front of the base so that they don't come and mob everyone inside the base. Well, I say front, but, uh... Right, you know what? You cannot be allowed to exist. Jeez. Look out, tower. Kindly keep on looking out. Ah, oh, Jesus, base sucks so much. 
One day at a time. That's how we're gonna get through this. One day at a time. We've heard that line before. We have certainly heard that line before. How's it looking inside the base, guys? I'm hearing a lot of fighting, hopefully victorious fighting. Runic's the only one eating a bit of plague, that's okay. 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 We're all right, we're all right. We would have not been all right to that, that AR-15, I think. At least it actually packs a bit of a wallop. And it didn't look like many of them got inside. Oh, well, uh, these guys did, but looks like they were laid flat. Runic and... Uh, Runic's the only one that got a bit of a nibbling out of that, which is good. He'll go get healed up and we'll be all right. Now, plague samples are still important. In fact, they will only grow in importance to me. Where'd the, where'd the Juggernauts ones... Oh, I grabbed them. Sweet. That was seven out of that one Juggernaut. I need more big guns being shot from up there. Bloater, Jake. Yeah, I saw the bloater. I don't think the bloater's a big issue. If it, stu if it comes too close to the base, it's a big fat target for the other guys to shoot down. Oh, killy dookily. In fact, that was it just popping. We heard that just now. I gotta take fire uh, sidearms off of everybody who goes away, but there's no there's no main weapons here. Damn it, you gotta make do with that. Okay, who's taking over then? I think I'll run with Runic for a bit. So that uh, Sirius can heal up. Nice, the base is at minimum level risk. Juggernaut was with the team longer than most of the team. Sort of understandable that Kaiser was reluctant to close that chapter of the campaign. <laughs> Good old Kaiser. Right, let's keep those flowing. Oh, there must have been a feral on the way, but it looks like they're dispatching it rather nicely. Two hordes behind us, another bloater. And that survivor in need, I don't think that survivor in need is going to be getting a lot of help out of me. I'm going to pop that plague heart, come back here, drop off the goods, and then I'm going to go and grab the portable generator to give to uh, the life givers, want it, right? Yes. Pop. I drop off any good weapons if we manage to find some, and then off we go. And it'll be night time again. It's always night time when I don't want it to be, which is all the time. Gonna need a bigger backpack for this. That'll be okay. I'll bring the van Dito as well, despite it looking a little worse for wear. Do I want to repair the van at all? No, but I do want to fuel it up. I miss having lots of fuel. I feel like I did at one point. Poor Van Dito's not great on the fuel economy. Classic Van texture, but I can't believe they haven't fixed that though. They fixed a bunch of other things, but not that. Gotta be a little antsy about the food, it is going down, but if I take out that last play cart, I can make myself a food outpost at Wow Great Food, which I will, because it'll make all of this area safe as well, and by extension make my whole base quite a bit safer. But I need to kill that plague heart, and that plague heart is going to necessitate some more Molotovs. So let's have those Molotovs ready. Oh right, if I'm going out with you, let's not let's not risk things here. You should have the regulars on you, which includes an energy drink. Maybe not a first aid kit for this. I need the space. There, that'll be that'll be what you bring, is just in cases. Is this a rogue? Well, it's certainly permadeath. But there's not a lot of random generation going on here, aside from, I suppose, the loot that you pull. I feel safer already with a juggernaut around the base, i got to say. Good cry. I think I'll take this way just in case that infestation magically de-infil... de uh, 
do some things itself. Somewhat doubt it though. Oh, I massively doubt it actually. Whoa! Bye guys! Nice to talk to you. Break line of sight, get into this building, they won't even know I'm here. Close door, close other door. And let's get looting. No guns again? Oh jeez. Did they reduce play cart loot? Surely not. Two play carts with zero guns inside them though is bad bloody news. Did I take damage? What hit me? Oh right, yeah, when the when the door opened and zombies came pouring out. Funny, funny how quickly I forget something like that. He took away the guns I read in the changelog. Oh my god. God, where am I meant to get any good guns? Good use. What about this weapon? Military tactical baton is a waste of everyone's time. Destroy the infestation at Courtney's home. I can give you a long essay about how that's not going to happen, if you like. Guns are useless against play cards. They're pretty damn useful against the zombies. I don't know if you've noticed, but we've had a lot of those going around. Damn, I hope tons of fun doesn't spot me going in here. And I trot. Grabby, grabby. He's still standing there like a dunce, which is fine. It's getting a little little tight. Don't want to risk it for the fuel there. I'm certain there's a fuel sack. And fuel is one of the things I'm tightest on right now. So you better believe I'm having that fuel. Time for gacha. Mm, not with the fuel sacks. I need those. I can't gacha my fuel sacks anymore and I'm actually regretting having done it earlier now. It was the right decision at the time, but I should have considered just how expensive it is to make these Molotovs. Oh, you mean f a gacha for guns? I don't know the rate at which ammo bags drop guns. I think it's very, very, very rare. And of course you don't know what gun it's going to be. That was not a rucksack of fuel. Although, to be fair, quite often I pop open a rucksack of fuel just to find one fuel, so let's make use of that regardless. Time to find out. Become the information broker. Do you have a rule against using Daybreak Prestige or whatever the currency is called? Yeah, it's just absolute pay-to-win stuff. Granted, it's pay-to-win as a reward for playing another part of the game, but I just don't want to use them. Screamer. I don't think I'm destroying that infestation. Okay, back to base. Drop off this stuff. Ho 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 Sirius has found an MP5K Spec Ops just lying around. Amazing. You just have thoughts and the game knows what to do with them. How are we doing on meds, by the way? We're fine. We can take another one. Okay, tell me more about that MP5K. MP5K with a professional suppressor. Excuse me, what? It's somehow a sidearm. Well, someone's getting a sidearm. Why is there a lot of zombies coming in? I am about to flip when it comes to Lily. Oh, 
I mean, whenever she talks, it's kind of like my brain is being molested. I really, really hate that voice so much. It's it's deeply unpleasant. I want to give this gun to uh, Sirius. You found it after all. Where are you at? There you are. Hello. Sitting around moping. Give me that crappy gun. Here's your now not so crappy gun. And you know what, you can keep the suppressor on it. It's professional, so it's uh, not going to break your gun quite so quickly. And yeah, the voice actor's probably very good at doing what they're cast to do. I just don't like it myself. It's like uh, Sir Divish from Kingdom Come Deliverance, right? It's not a very fitting voice, but he does what he's asked to do, and he did it quite well. Right, I'm still using you, and I'm heading out to get that portable Jenny. Absolutely. Absolutely. Couldn't help but notice the rucksacks I'm picking up aren't the good ones out of the play carts either. I guess the play cart loot in general just got somewhat uh, reduced. Okay, let's go. This is no social call. I found it in the play, play cart. Remove the gun and close combat weapon drops of play carts and replace with consumables. I wonder if he did that to, you know, try and make life easier for you. It's like, oh, they're going to need consumables more than yet more guns. Let's give them these consumables. No, I need guns. Nehru, I need guns like you would not believe. And I need that screamer dead. 2% brightness. It's 1% more than necessary for that. Right, gonna go and grab that, and then I guess I'll take the low route over and up to you. That's gonna be very, very expensive on this poor bandito's fuel. I need a better source of fuel. I'm using the still as much as I can, but that requires more food. Ha oh, fun! Times look who's out there! I don't think I've brought it up before, but this base is really, really bad. That's Duff's brother, Chuff. He heard what happened to his bro and brought the entire zombie army to have a word. That's not gonna, not gonna be a pleasant place to check. Oh, actually, this could be an in and out, no mucking about job. Gib. I haven't been to the bottom of the ravine. Ah, oh, crap. That'll bring them running. It will bring them running. Now get out of there. I would check the ravine if it was daylight, but it's very not daylight. You should think about moving base, Jake. I hear the castle is pretty bad for a base. <laughs> Look, I need 3,500 influence, of which I have, uh, if I could press I... 118. There's another play cart. And I need to kill five play carts. Now, killing five, five play carts is going to necessitate, what, like 5 times 15, so 75 Molotovs and balls of steel to do it. And there's one extra play cart that I still want to get rid of. So I need a lot of fuel. A hell of a lot of fuel. And that fuel is currently necessitating food, so I'm actually stuck in this god awful castle base for a wee while yet. Quickly does it. And even quicklier does it. Where am I even going here? Turn right and act like you're heading back to the safe zone. At least I've been through it enough that I can kind of remember the way. The castle does look more defensible than some of the other bases I've seen. Are we looking at the same thing? It's actually a problem for you that the castle base has that huge perimeter broken wall around it. Because that broken wall does nothing for your defense. Zombies will just come into it. But it means that you have to go around that to get into your base with your cars. So you're riling up all the zombies around as you get into your base. And then they're going to follow you through and suddenly start jamming you. And they'll attack from all angles in that base. Ah, 
I am going towards that ravine, I'm I? Do I feel like going down there with the character that I really don't want to die? Let's not be navigating controls while zombies are in front of me. This is the ravine. Down there is potential good stuff, but if I get caught by a feral, that's bad news. Maybe I should do the portable generator stuff first before I start thinking about that. Daylight lasts about half an hour. Nighttime lasts about an hour in this. Daylight is precious. Nighttime is foreboding. Fortunately, I can request. Oh, oh, Runic? What the hell was that? Oh, I guess one of the infestations decided to kill themselves. Or. Oh, those survivors killed themselves! There was a disturbance over there, now I remember. I think that's those people being dead. And we'll take all the credit for them being dead. Here's your generator. They're going to give me another, oh, our surgeon was kidnapped sort of event. But we know how to deal with that now. We know how to deal with that. What am I doing while I'm over here? Yeah, I'll go and deal with that disturbance. There's actually a reasonable chance of finding some goodies around here. So if I take that and investigate the area, that could work out for me. Supply drops? Yeah, I should do supply drops while I'm here in this gracious area. I see the zombies once again have an in interesting interpretation of safe zone. It's their safe zone. Roadside assistance has quite the cooldown on it, but uh, emergency medical supplies. Oh, that's exactly where I want them. And again, I got a sidearm if ferals start jumping me around here. Or you. There we go. I'm just going to pop this open. I'm desperate for supplies. Mmm, that's pretty good. There's a lot of strong painkillers for one person. And also... Play cart supplies, please. Well, I mean, it's en route. I'm hurting on fuel, though. I'm really hurting on fuel. I just heard some ferals. I'm going to be hurting on something else real soon. Let's just make this jump. I knew I should have gotten here sooner. Hope that feral isn't still on me. Looks picked over already. Ah! Uh -huh. Not the plan, not the plan. Right, how do I deal with this? Evidently poorly. Nope, this is going bad. I have an idea though. I'll give them the old slipperoo around the back of the house, provided there are no zombies around here. Quietly does it now. They don't need to know I'm here. There's some good loot in that house. I'm not passing up this opportunity unless I'm getting multi feraled. I've got a bow. I've got a decent amount of bolts for it. There's a little reason not to just quietly and calmly ah, geez, take care of the situation. Brought some, um, I brought some firecrackers, but I don't want to use them because there's a feral nearby. And if the feral starts thinking that those firecrackers are for him, he's going to come over here. And I just don't want that feral anywhere near me. Freaking ton of zombies in this freaking neighborhood. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's still barely okay, but it's okay. Front door clear. 
I want those bolts, but this is more important. My inventory is a bit full here. Um, here we go. The house is ours. Good. Close the door. And deal with this. Comparative firecrackers. How long does boombox last? I've never hung around a boombox long enough to check. I don't know, 10, 20 seconds? The only boombox I'm interested in is the boom box, which has some TNT strapped to it, which is rather nice. A uh, sawn-off shotgun sounds nice, but it's only a sidearm. And I don't generally go for shotguns in this game. You'd think shotgun would be the ultimate anti-zombie weapon, but it just doesn't seem to do it for me most times. That was the wrong thing to put, throw away. Give me that back. The truck blocks my view, but I'm not convinced it blocks theirs. Death 3 so far. In fact, we gained ourselves two additional meat shields. One of them looks really good as well. Sawn off is decent for ferals, yeah, but it only ha carries six shells. Enigmatic note. Okay. This was done by the person with the multiple, uh, multiple firing um, crossbow, so I would like to find and kill them. Did I just lose a mission or something? There's some kind of noise indicating a lack of progress. Ah, right, this is where the other person is. But I still want to get that. Also, there's a bloater right out there. There's plenty not to like about this. And it is swarming with zombies here. Bloaters on the other side of the fence, which should make it okay. But I want though I want that drop, you hear? I think I would actually drive out and back around for that. Close to the Z's. Bolts are materials, so I want them. Keep your cool. Keep your very, very cool. Oh, he's sleeping. Right. Well, as long as I don't accidentally run him over, I should be able to double back and get the supply drop. Feeling really glad I brought all this. Um... Keep the emergency stuff on me. And what am I doing? I'm going to go left and left again and get onto the... Mm, no, that's a bad idea. Take a right instead. Oh, but the right is rugged. Screw it, left it is. I saw a bloater on the minimap, though. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Bye-bye, bloater. Again, I think there's a feral here. Well, there's certainly zombies here. Oh, freaking clown car. Uh-oh, I just saw something. And it saw me. Just don't vom on my car, okay? This is bad for the car, but let's go. It's all right, toolboxes we have. And supplies we need. Split session, uh, split second decision making like that. Do it right, keep yourself alive. Got a lot of stuff to dump in the base. I don't think I'm being followed here. Well, who are they then? Um, okay. 
No additional zombies will spawn here. They can roam in all they want, but they won't spawn here. Hmm. You hear that, Yahtzee? That would have kept you alive. <laughs> Listen, Yahtzee sacrificed herself for the rest of the base. Unfortunately, she didn't do a good enough job of it, so the rest of the base still died. But, Kaiser remained, and thanks to Kaiser, the crew was able to get themselves re-established. Do sound awfully familiar. Sucks having a trader in charge, getting all these trader missions. They're not the worst, but I mean, really. Let's just dump all that stuff so I got all the room to bring the stuff back. Mm hmm. Okay, that was actually a really good haul. Speaking of good, keep that flowing. We're still converting food into fuel. Food situation actually not looking so hot. At least 3.75 a day. I can't keep doing that. I need more food. And for that I need to wipe out more play carts. Uh, so many sawn off shotguns, it's crazy. I don't want them. <laughs> I really do not want them. Um, okay, I want to go and kill this individual. Or maybe I can try and recruit them. Ah, but I really want their bow. It's uh, it's risky. If I recruit them and they say no, they bugger off. Also have allies down there that I want to sell some more stuff to. Did I did I sell to them earlier to take all of their goods? I don't think I did. Who did I sell to? I think I sold to you. I hear a juggernaut. The juggernaut is there. I need to get out of here. Um, well, let's make sure I got my lovely stuff on me. Which is a couple of... Oh, he's really close. Why is he so close? Well, contemplating that isn't going to deal with him. Let's grab these to sell. I think that juggernaut has blood plague. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's coming real close. He's way too close. What the hell's he doing? You know, he's making me scarce, that's for sure. <laughs> He's really clumping on over. Why? You sell for fuel price to friendly allies, reduce the buy price. Oh, really? Well, I could sell a lot to the doctors there then. Hmm, that's good to know. Very cool, thank you. I hadn't, uh,. I hadn't thought to check, because I just assumed it's always best to do to allies. Speaking of best allies, these guys have got a lot of zombies around their home. Hopefully, not going to be a problem for them to kill. Okay, could you kill these for me? Sounds like they've got guns, which is good. Just look at how much I help my friends. Good to see you, Vato. Tell me what you need. Bueno. I think my strong painkillers. Is that really all I took out? Yeah, they just have food, and I'm not willing to pay for food, but I am willing to pay for gas cans. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I must have sold to you earlier. You've got all those parts. <laughs> there is indeed a flatulent trait. It's uh, not very good. Let's make some more mollies while we can. Let's make some more firecrackers while we can. Well, we have some spare people, so let's unclog the toilets too. People ask me if Red Talon has a plan for rebuilding the rest of the world. One problem at a time, folks. One problem at a time. Mm-mm-hmm. Got a lot of problems at one time, sadly. I think we're going to try my luck at recruiting that individual. It'd be very handy. Did you have that nice food and meds facility mod that they were selling? Uh, don't know. Don't know what you mean. Can't dedicate enough of my brain towards it when roaming around at night time in plague territory. But I don't have a farm, so I'm not going to get a lot out of anything that boosts food production out of farms. And currently, I think I'd rather have the fighting gym. 
My, van, my van's making some very unhappy noises. Maybe whilst the going is good, I'll fix it up. And fuel it up. How many people do you have, Jake? More than four, and the crossbow killer doesn't join. I have exactly four. Are you sure it's more than, or more than or equal to? Because we don't have a lot of time to make that, uh, make that call. Four or less. You have a chance. Well, I count one, two, three, four, so let's give it a go. Who knows? He might be good at what he does. Uh, I can't really kill him, though. Um, I mean, that would go loud here, and that would be very bad for me. He looks like he knows his stuff. Oh, but his name is Holland. Let's recruit Holland. Yeah, I like that idea. Oh, baby! You talking to me? Tell me what you need. Yeah, why not? He also has materials and stuff, but at an outrageous cost. Hey, Holland no oh, he knows sports trivia, which is awful. But maybe he has some good traits to make up for it. Oh lord, the Dutch have joined indeed. Can I take advantage of being here and grab anything else? Far too risky to do so. And there's not a lot here that's guaranteed drops. Or even maybe drops. Zombies are coming, Holland. Get your ass over here. Alright, get in the van. We're going. A lot of Z's coming in. I know, that's why we're leaving. Alright, so uh, I don't really care one way or the other about Holland unless he's got some really good traits. What I do care about is that he appears to have that multi-firing light crossbow, which is the best crossbow in the game. Don't let anyone tell you that the super powerful ones are better. That was a bloater. That was a regular bloater as well, I almost didn't notice him. Don't let anyone tell you that the super powerful crossbows are better. Oh, bollocks. Mm, zombie threat at home. Well, I guess Holland's going to be put to a trial by fire. Finally got some time to catch you live. Been re-watching the old State of Decay series. Must say, I enjoy the pain when it's on someone else. Yeah, that's, that's an attractive option for a lot of people that stop by here, I couldn't help but notice. Freaks the lot of them. I'm going to stop by here and pop open... Oh, that bloater's too bad news. Too bad news, but... Maybe I'll risk it anyway. Keep an eye on this. Take you. Ditch all of that. And let's get popping. There's zombies right there. I just hope they don't come down and swarm my everything. At least the toilets are clean, and the threat level is quite low. Alright, poppy poppy. Hope for the best. That's... Uh, not very good. I like to keep the energy drinks for myself, though. They are just so good for... Uh, when things hit the fan that you don't want to hit the fan. Oh yeah, if I want to... Might as well keep them in here. Where'd you go? One Z is fine, many Zs are not. Where'd they go? There you are. Hey. Tell me what you need. Why not? Oh oh they don't really have much. Oh but they have they have fuel for me. I'm taking that fuel. Kill it and kill it quietly, okay? Tell me what you need. Might as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sell, 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 sell. Uh, do I want to take a, a risk at buying that and popping it open? It couldn't, could work badly for me, but you know what? Live dangerously. Hey, that kind of broke even, I think. Eh, maybe a slight profit, but there we go. 185 influence for us. Let's get back to base and leave these two alone. 
Now, I don't want these two to die. I take a big risk every time I come here, because if a swarm comes in and kills them, I lose the bonus they give, and they give me that uh, ammo income. I like ammo. I don't like zombies swarming my, bay, uh, swarming my van, though. That one's too big a threat. I'm going to slyly take it out and then drive away. Back to base, Holland. Well, I'll tell you, the influence system works better here than in State of Decay 1. In State of Decay 1, you had to pay in influence to withdraw items from your own base. Oh god, going up here in the dark is a bad, bad, bad idea. Shortcuts, long delays. Especially when there's a screamer around. A screamer that I miss. Ah! <laughs> that scared me. That was not one set of feral limbs I heard. Okay, I mean that shortcut works fine if you get up there no problem. If you get up there with problem, then it doesn't. Anyone notice the van stopped flickering? I really wonder what uh, what's behind all of that. Am I going the right way here? Kind of. So, oh right, yeah, of course there's still that survivor in need who, uh, I don't think I'm going to be helping. Screamer over there. Maybe the scream and the glass shattering fixed it right up. Hmm. Well, no, I don't think it was flickering after I parked it over by the, uh, the other survivor's base. So, possibly, but possibly not. Oh hey, this, hey, it counts as a safe zone. Amazing how far we've come. We can actually have safe zones near enough our uh, glorious home. <coughs> our near, ugh. pardon me, near enough our glorious home. Right now, maybe we clear out any zombies that come near us before we trigger the uh, the big attack, huh? Making all this noise as we should. Oh, I didn't pop open the last one, but I didn't need to, so let's just chuck it in the base. Now, first siege we've had in quite a while, with a lot of risk to be had with it. But this time at least our risk is low-ish. Let's hope it stays that way. I think that's something I really need to work on, keeping risk low. Alright, get in, get in, get in. Take care. Nice to see you're still kicking. I think I'll take that. Ooh, I'll take all your stuff right now. And I need to get you a gun before that attack. I need to get myself a gun before this attack. Right, take a, uh, take a, one of these and one of these. And I need myself some fire, and maybe even a lot of fire, and even some grenades if this goes really badly. Here you go, my friend. No bullets, but that's fine. Hey, Rockstar. Wait for new zombies today? Oh. I'll work on it. Ay -ay -ay. What was that rat a tat tat? What the hell is that gun? Oh, that's the spec ops that I gave you. See? Uh, automatic weapons, pretty good for giving to your survivors. We don't have to keep it up for very long. Low, low threat attacks means the zombies spawn for less time, and that alone is worth so much. Okay, great. Uh, 
I guess we're a little tougher than we look. Barely to call it, but sure. We're not done yet. There we go. Phew, okay. Good to see you. It is good. I'm so, so happy you found that gun. <laughs> Apparently a sidearm, but working well for us. Worm, the reason that's a weak siege is because we've worked towards it being a weak siege. If we keep threat level low, we'll have less troubles with that. The problem is, everyone we add adds noise. And a lot of buildings add noise. The field hospital, for one. At least the fighting gym, for some reason, doesn't. Actions in the base frequently cause noise as well. Okay, uh, good job there, Runic. You didn't get a lot of standing, but you did well. I'm going to see if I can teach you any useful skills. Computers, cooking, and craftsmanship. I mean, computers could be good. I do actually want to upgrade my command center at some point. Hmm, could actually do that with just a little bit more, bit more stuff here, couldn't we? Hmm. He's thinking. He's thinking. He's still thinking. Take that. Put these away. And that'll be you. And then, who's going to take over? Wait, what's Kaiser's mission? I'll be going Siri. Oh, Sirius is getting better at shooting. So is this Dar? Chemistry now. Do we go to munitions or pharmacology? Strong painkillers, yields of med production, improve crafting and recovery, or... Fire storage, yields of ammo, craft thermite, C4... Yeah, it was, it was a done deal. You're on munitions there, Kaiser. I need to have a quick look at what Kaiser's mission is here. To hand forgiveness. Uh, I hate to put your life at risk here, Kaiser, but looks like we will. Oh, but I think this mission's just going to straight up end. This is like prisoners or something. Might be those escaped prisoners we've heard about, but I still think we should help them, right? It's been so long since I could just rest, really rest. Talk to Istar about his concerns. What are your concerns, Istar? Too much. If you ally with a bunch of convicts, I'm leaving. Yeah, we shouldn't take the risk. <laughs> I'm not letting Istar leave. And that clears that mission nice and easy. Good, because I didn't actually want to put Kaiser's life at risk. I wanted to put... Uh, well, not Istar's life at risk either, but... Sirius, let's have... Uh, no, mm, no. No, I will do Istar. I need Istar leveled up so that he can get that... Um, that soundproofing bonus. Istar single-handedly reduces the threat of these... Sieges, because he was once a librarian. What now, then? Istar... Oh, man. I don't want to throw Istar's life away on a... Uh, on another plague heart, but I need to clean up this area. Absolutely need to. Oh, but uh, daylight is coming back, thank god. Right, put away that gun for now. Get out an anti-feral gun. I got 24 molotovs. Can we not make yet more molotovs? No, it's still plus nine and I don't have the fuel for it. Well, we're going to have to make do with the last of these Molotovs then. And give you an anti-dying thing. Uh, I'm even thinking of giving you some Plague Cure to take with you in case you get plagued while you're out there. Saves a risky run back home. If you take that as well as an energy drink, then you should be okay. Godspeed, Istar. Could you check Holland's attributes? Yes, we can. What's Holland like? Holland! Jeffrey Holland. Uh, from a military family, a sports gambler, and a good listener. He's really, really nothing special. Hmm, well, he's, he's got some positivity going for him, sure. Uh, he's extremely expendable. We don't know what his bonus is. The bonus sync might also be single-handedly amazing, but... 
I'm not banking on it. The hell? Why did I hear a juggernaut? Why do I see a juggernaut? Well, you know what? Works for me. That explains what you're shooting at for so long. Juggernauts do drop a load of plague samples, so having them die is wonderful for the team. Who did all that? <laughs> Who else? Right. Taking out the jerk chicken plague heart now. Or at least trying to. Tell you what else I'm trying to do is reduce the threat around my base. Oh man, I'm looking forward to this place not being plague territory. Or at least not all being... Oh, Does that have a roof? No, it doesn't have a roof, damn. I need a vantage point to deal with this thing. A good vantage point. There might not necessarily be one. That's the plague heart right there, actually. So if I just do something like... This... There's nowhere good to run if things go hot here. Truly nowhere. What if I have to run? Where do I go? Burnt out van there. Burnt out vehicle here. I don't like using those, but... I mean, all bets are off on uh, dark side. It's a long run to that blue truck, though. Ah, oh, hey, the zombies are interested already. Alright, let's hope you can make this. One, two, three. Or imagine if these weren't hitting it somehow. We know it is, though. It's screaming. Five. Six. Eyes peeled for bloaters. Like you! Seven. I think that missed. Eight. Nine. Ten, bloater spotting, good, eleven, twelve, thirteen, oh yeah, oh yeah, look at the safety!